What is going on guys, Dave from Wake Up It's Football, bringing you guys the 6th episode of GMing the Jacksonville Jaguars. Not too many episodes left, uh, I think there might be one or two more after this at the most, uh, and that will be covering the draft and the final roster moves. So uh, right now, pretty much just got done with free agency, it's, it's getting a bit quieter, and we're leading more towards up the draft, which will be in about a week. Now, um, Let's take a look at the current roster as of right now. Here's the offensive roster. As you see there already, you got Kirk Cousins as the starting quarterback. Uh, now, for free agency, a lot of moves that had to be made just because there was a lot of cap space available and I had to use the money. Um, my, my philosophy is, you know, to build through the draft, but with a team like the Jacksonville Jaguars, with all the money that I had, I had to go out and grab a lot of free agents. So... Uh, first of all, you see there at running back Ben Tate, I brought in uh, at tight end. I, br I bring in Dennis Pitta, Andrew Corliss, and Michael Humanawanui. Uh, Humanawanui is more of a guy who's going to be blocking. Andrew Corliss, I think, could be an up-and-coming tight end. Um, Dennis Pitta again is a you know receiving tight end now. In in reality, he was signed with re-signed with the Ravens, but in this GM league, the Ravens general manager didn't want I guess anything to do with him. He let him test the free agent market, and I want him. So um, Mar Mercedes Lewis is still on the roster. Still not sure what I want to do with him. Um, and then again, uh, as mentioned in the last episode, I did bring in Alex Mack. Um, who was a ten, who's you know, the Browns tried to re-sign him? I threw in a lot of money on him, and the Browns wanted nothing to do with 13 million. Uh, as for the defensive roster, I brought in some guys. Uh, Michael Johnson, I thought I got f not bad, you know, five million there um, at defensive end. Johnny Jolly, Johnny Jolly at defensive tackle as well. Uh, Akeem Ayers was a trade that I'll get to in a second. Andy Malumba, uh, outside linebacker, the Green Bay Packers. Got him for four hundred ninety-five thousand. Um, I think he's good, you know, solid depth at outside linebacker. And then Mason Crosby there at kicker um, is a is a uh, player. I ended up cutting Josh Scobie, who had a four point three million dollar cap hit, and I bring in Mason Crosby, who is a only a one point five million dollar cap hit, and I saved some money there as well. Um, so here are the the cap numbers, pretty much. I'm fifty million under cap still. I, I have so much money. I have no idea what to do with it, um, you know, so I I don't really think, the only other move right now that I have in the works is signing more depth at inside linebacker, which is only going to be a $495,000 move, and that's going to be for Tank Carter, so uh, really, you know, I, I don't know what to do with all this money, I'm just going to have to leave it alone, those are my draft picks there, 12 draft selections. Uh, a one, a two, a three, a four. Then you got two fives, two sixes, and four sevens. Uh, so I've got 43 out of my 53 guys on the roster at right now. Uh, moving on a little bit here, uh, you see some of the free agents that I have decided to re-sign. Uh, I had the opportunity to match a bid on Will Blackman at cornerback, but uh, I probably should have considering how much money I have. Uh, his bid actually went all the way up to about I think three and a half million dollars, and I decided to not bring him back. Uh, so, again, those are the free agent signings there at the bottom um, that, that I went out and grabbed. Alex Mack being the most expensive, Andy Malumba being the least expensive, um, and then everybody else in between there. Uh, so some of the trades, the two most recent trades I've made, uh, Jamal Fleming, I got an offer for him uh, for a seventh-round pick. He was actually a guy who was drafted by the Arizona Cardinals a couple of years ago in the third round. Uh, the Cardinals ended up releasing him. The Jaguars signed him to the roster. Um, but if you get cut by a team who drafted you that fast, uh, you know, I'd, I'd be happy to get a draft selection for him. I was honestly going to release him. So I got a seventh-round pick for him. And then uh, in the seventh trade there, I was, you know, shopping Tyson Alu-Alu around. And uh, he was on my trade block for a while. I got an offer for him that I was really surprised about, actually. I got Akeem Ayers, a very young, talented outside linebacker from the Tennessee Titans, and I was absolutely stunned uh, that, you know, I was able to get him for Tyson Alulu. So, you know, I thought that was a great move right there as well. Um, so let's take a look at the depth chart. I hope this isn't too small. Uh, it might be, but I'm going to try and see what I can do with this, if I'll enlarge it or not. But here's the offensive starters and the defensive starters as of right now. You know, before the before my draft in about a week, um, at wide receiver we got Cecil Shorts and Ace Sanders, left tackle Luke Jokel, uh, left guard Jacquees McClendon, 
Offensive center, uh, Alex Mack. Right guard, uh, Uche Waniri. Right tackle, Austin Passador. Uh, tight end, Dennis Pitta. Uh, quarterback, Kirk Cousins. Running back, Trent Richardson. And the running back behind Richardson would be Ben Tate. On defense, Michael Johnson at defensive end. Johnny Jolly and Senderic Marks at uh, defensive tackle. And then Andre Branch on the other side at defensive end. Then you got Russell Allen. At outside linebacker, Akeem Ayers at outside linebacker, and Paul Pazlesny at middle linebacker, and Alan Ball, Josh Evans, Jonathan Cyprin, and Dwayne Gratz in the secondary. So that's how my team is shaping up to be. You know, as a general manager, you don't want to come in and completely destroy and shake up a team. So as you see there, a lot of guys who were there on the, you know, defensively are still there. Um, offensively, I think, you know, has seen a major overhaul with the quarterback, running back positions. Um tight end position as well so you know it's just a fun little fantasy gm league here and uh, this is kind of the moves that i would try to make if i was a general manager but uh, obviously these probably would be a little bit more unrealistic in reality um but you know it's a little bit fun you know um let's wait for the nfl or let's wait for for our gm gml draft i should say and kind of see how it shakes out 12 draft selections um you know, if I go back to them real quick here, 12 draft selections, you know, I'm drafting third overall. I have an idea of who I want. I've got three names that I want with that pick, and I'm going to get one of them. So uh, I'm, I'm in a good spot. I don't think, you know, if you guys want to listen to a quick game plan on my draft strategy or whatever, I don't think I'm trading down. I think I'm going to stay put. You know, I have three solid players there that I'm going to take. If, you know, the first overall pick and the second overall pick take those two players, I, I've got a guy that I'm going to have. So uh, I'm not going to trade down. I'm going to stay, stay put at three and take one of those three guys. Um, at 39, you know, there's a couple names that I think could be there for me. There's a chance I could trade up. There's a chance I could trade down. But uh, once you start, you know, going past the second and third round, it's anybody's game. So, um I kind of, you know, I don't, I don't know. It's, it's, it's hard to tell you guys what I'm going to do past the first round. Right now, the first round, I'm not going to trade down. I'm not going to trade up. I'm staying at three. Um, but after that, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, the next episode should be bringing you guys the entire draft class, you know, and some of the decisions I made in deciding to bring, you know, who I brought in. But uh, that is all for the sixth episode of GMing the Jacksonville Jaguars. Not too many episodes left. Um, but that is all I got for you guys today. I'm out.